Welcome to 15 Minute Theatre, the only review show that squeezes a whole production into 900 seconds. The date is the 6th and the 7th of February 2019, and I've just been to see the Ipstock Place School House Drama Competition. Open the house! Hello, Vicky. Hello, James. Sorry, I was swallowing some water. Hello. That's okay. Are you okay? Well, I had a bit of a cough, but I'm all right now, thanks. Let's see if you can get through the recording without coughing. Okay, this is a task I shall endeavour to complete. Okay, now, your your other task today is to ask me some questions. Yeah, because I'm used to this. I went, um, I went solo last week. Yeah. I was invited to Ipstock Place School by the head of drama, Mrs Kelly Quick. Oh, you may know her. You may I remember d- her from our Roehampton I, I University I remember days. her from when we used to share a house with him. All yes, the years we ago. did! <laughs> did, you just, did you forget? <laughs> well, I don't know. But James has a terrible memory. Terrible memory. Anyway, yes, um, she invited me to go down and judge their house drama competition. Did she now? Yes. Get um, in. So I just wanted to spend a little time telling you about the four pieces I went to see. Okay. Um, so what did you go and see? The first play I went to see was called First Impressions, and that was by Findlay House. Yeah, is that like a a class, a house? It's a house. It's a bit like Hogwarts. There's four different houses. Oh, okay. Which ones are they? Are they the good ones or the bad ones? Okay, well, I can't remember what colour stood for which. Okay. Um, So, and because Mrs Quick was being very impartial, she wouldn't tell me which house she was in. She's in a house as well. Is she? Yeah. As a teacher? Yep. Is she like leader of the house? But if you think about it, so is Professor McGonagall. Yeah, fair. Mm-hmm. So it makes yeah, sense. Yeah, fair, fair. I didn't see any witchcraft or magic going on, except okay. for the magic of the theatre. Oh, it snuck that in nicely, didn't you? I did. <laughs> okay, so it was a very naturalistic piece. Yep. And it was um, about a, a two sets of, uh, basically a guy and a girl who were just going on a load of dates. Right. Kind of, some were like speed dates. And... How old were these kids? Well, this is what I was really impressed with, because the kids were only, um, I don't know, I think that I think they were year seven, or I think there was a couple from year seven, but mainly year eight, nine, ten. So in my day, yeah. uh, that would have made no sense. Well, they weren't playing... So 11 to... Oh, right. I thought what you... What age? Okay, so we're looking at 12, 13, 14, 15-year-olds, I think. Okay, fine. 12-year-olds going on Tinder dates? Well, no, because they were obviously acting older. Okay, fine. So, uh, I mean, that was the thing that really impressed me to start with, actually, because you know what it's like when you're a teenager and how awkward it is about dating and all that kind of stuff. Well, I mean, I was a teenager only recently, so yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you remember like it was yesterday. Um, and they did a really good job. Yep. There were some lovely characters. Uh, there was, for example, one that stands out was um, uh, a girl who played a psychic. Oh. And she, it was quite funny. She was like, Not oh. a sidekick. A uh, sidekick. No, no, let's be clear. Okay. One that could tell the future and she was going, I know this about you. And he was really impressed. Oh. She'd only nicked his wallet. Oh, I'm not, oh, don't trust them. Anyway, it's a lovely story. And in the end... They, um, guess, love. guess who with? Together. Oh, so. did, she, did she know that? Because she was psychic. No, not that one. Oh, right, okay, fine. Oh, um, they, oh I yeah, get it. Yeah, you get it? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, you was know. Was it funny? It was. But, but it was quite, it was a very naturalistic piece as well. Yeah. And it was quite, I think out of all of them, the script was the hardest one to, to bring to life, really. Okay. And you'll, that'll probably come more apparent when you hear what the other three were about. Okay, so the next one was Montefiore. Okay, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and their play was called How to Survive a Zombie Apocalypse. Oh, and James has shown me a really lovely poster with a zombie on it and a zombie hand and some blood and all, and all this stuff. I mean, look, this was very funny. Yep. They um, basically... I think there was about seven or eight or nine, something like that, different ways you could survive a zombie apocalypse. So you had the four, like, survivors. Yeah. 
And then you had a group of zombies who were just brilliant. The makeup was amazing, but they all came, uh, all came on. Yeah. And then there'd be different ways to distract them. So there was there was one where they got like the prettiest girl to be romantic with the zombies, right? Or intellectualise. And then you get the zombies going, uh, blah, 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 blah. okay. And every time they went to eat someone, yeah, they had a film of the zombies, like with the camera on the floor, so the zombies looked like they were going over them. Uh, was it the same film, film each time? Ooh, I think it was. Mm, okay, missed a trick there. But I don't know. I don't know. But they also had a film right at the end of the play where yeah. the two zombies were like talking about Rado and you know I, I don't usually do this sort of work. And uh, it, how it, fabulous! It was. It was. It was laugh out loud funny. Yeah, I was really impressed. And the professionalism. This goes for all the kids. Yeah, outstanding. Brilliant. So that was that was. I think that was right up there. And you what know, your favourite. Well, it, it was it was close. Yeah. Okay. What else we got? Okay. Uh, so the the net. So that was the first night. The second night. Yeah. Um, were open with Brilly House drama, and that was Snow White and the Dwarf. So I'm just going to show you the program. So, so this- James showed me a poster with Snow White, and the dwarves are all not there apart from one little guy who's there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, what I am going to say about this is um, Millie Glenister... Millie Vanilli? (laughs) Not quite. Millie Millie Glenister, she um, wrote and directed this piece. Oh, well done her. And I tell you what, it was brilliant. Was it? Yeah, it it was kind of in the style of a play that goes wrong. Have you seen that? I've not seen that. Have you seen it? Yeah, twice. Have you? Yeah. Um, um, you know, so lots of setups. So they couldn't get seven dwarfs, so there's only one dwarf. Um, okay. the, the, Is the dwarf an actual dwarf? No. Okay. Um, <laughs> the Wicked Queen is like really... Uh, so you, you've got the play within the play, so you see the rehearsal process. Okay. And it's just a disaster kind of, you know, things okay. are going wrong and um, all this kind of stuff. But the setup for all that has a real payoff because then you see the actual play yeah. and it's all just a disaster. <laughs> but it's a really well-timed disaster. So, you, you know, um, for example, Snow White, the actress, is allergic to apples. And so oh, they're supposed to use a tangerine yeah. or an orange and that gets dropped and someone ends up giving the apple and then she has a, you know, um, an allergic reaction and they, they're all trying to save her and then she, we think she's dead. And then, Sounds great. And then she comes back to life at the end. It's To time all that was masterful, really, but yeah. the acting was superb. Yeah. And then to have written it as well, yeah. I was just so impressed. Well, that sounds very excellent indeed. Well done, the really house. Really house. <coughs> okay. Last one. The last one was Paget House drama. Yeah. And they presented star-crossed lovers and oh. quite a few others. Oh, so this this uh, fine program I'm looking at has got some sort of Rapunzel character on it. It's got a guy in here. I don't. It's actually, know. it's actually Romeo and Juliet. Is it? Yeah. She looks like Rapunzel. And it's got like what looks like Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz's Well, you're right, out. because what they did with this is there was characters that came from lots of different things. So you had Dorothy in it. Uh, you had, I have to point out, I think my personal favourite was a little guy, um, a guy who played the character of Blackman, um, Joseph Cleave. Um, and he, he was quite... A, he was a smaller actor. Yeah. Dressed as Batman. Blackman, yeah. as he said. Yeah. He was doing the most amazing po- poses and I'm Blackman and all this kind of stuff. It was it was just very funny. Yeah. What I was really impressed with this is the cast. There was loads of them. It must have How been about many? 20 or something. 20? Yeah. I mean, it was a huge cast. Yeah. And again, it was about things going wrong. Yeah. So timing was really key. And every time you thought all the characters had come on, I will pop someone playing William Shakespeare. Do you think Mrs Quick has been uh, teaching her students about how everything goes wrong in the theatre? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. So the way this all works is that the older students yeah. direct, stage manage, do the whole lot. Yeah. Um, and um, so it's a whole learning process for all of them. It's a great idea, isn't it? I tell you what, the professionalism of the kids, yeah. outstanding. Yeah. Quality of the work, outstanding. Yeah. I mean, you there's, there's a lot of people that you could think oh, they could go very far. Well, I'm glad you had such a lovely time. 
Maybe next time you could come along with me if I get invited back. Yeah, if I get invited next time, I will come. You could come along and take notes for me. Seriously, is that what I've been reduced to? Because <laughs> <laughs> that was called the adjudicator. It's gone straight to my head. Oh, God, power. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm not going to mark them. No. Because I've, I have actually already done that. But well, I'm also, tell you what, I feel like it's not one. really fair no, to absolutely. mark them compared to the... The professional West Enders. No, they, they weren't the floor. Not the that professional we, West Enders. Not that everything we see is professional West Enders. Exactly. I'll tell you what, they were a lot better than some of the things we see. But I will tell you who was the winner. Who was, who was the was winner? Who was my favourite. Hang and on, drum roll. It was Snow White and the Dwarf. Well, I'm very happy for them. And I'm very happy for all the people that took part. And I'm really delighted that I didn't get to see it. Let's <laughs> hand say that with a smile on your face, Vicky. <laughs> Yeah, let's get to it. Okay, well, thankfully, that's the theatre bell, oh. which means that it's time to say goodbye once again, but I'll see you very soon for when we do our next review. Does that sound good to you? Yeah, I can live with that. So the curtain's down, the theatre's dark, and that was 15 Minute Theatre. Good night. Good night. <laughs>